question is, are we going to have enough fuel to get to the next town here as we drive across the southwestern Australian outback? I don't even know if you can call this the outback or not, but we're in the middle of nowhere and uh, we have just a little bit of fuel left. Let's see if we can get a picture of that. Now, two bars may seem like a lot of fuel, but from what we gather, we're actually closer to the end of the second bar than we are to the beginning of the second bar. And we know for a fact that we only have 40 kilometers on that one bar. And currently we are about 58K away from the next town of Pemberton. So, it's going to be a little bit of an adventure, and we'll have to see uh, how it goes. I'll uh, check in and let you know just how all this does, in fact, turn out. Okay, so I said I'd, I'd hit back with an update, and here's the update. We are now on our last bar of fuel. It looks like we're going to come about 14 to 15K short of the next town of Pemberton, which is... Um, a little disconcerting because there's dead kangaroos all over the road and I think I've seen a couple poisonous snakes along the way. I'm sure that there are red back spiders all over the place and we're going to be walking that last 15k. The good news is that this road is moderately busy and by moderately busy I think we see a car every like 10 minutes or so. So um, at the very least hopefully somebody will be kind enough to pick us up get some gas without actually chopping us up into little bits because um, I think there was a serial killer in Australia back in the day who used to do that pick people up and chop them up to little bits and it would suck if someone else decided that they wanted to also be that serial killer but uh, just to add dramatic effect the the little thing the, I guess the fuel gauge. the fuel gauge thank you um, is flashing because when it gets to the last bar, it starts flashing. It doesn't, none of this makes sense to me, but let's just look at it. You know, just as soon as I start talking about how in the middle of nowhere we are, we get a, um, well, that was an extreme close-up. get a car that passes us as I'm just, you know, showing off the road. But nonetheless, kind of get the picture of what's going on here. We'll see how it turns out. I'll keep you up to date. All right, so we're still driving. We're still uncertain as to our fate, whether or not we will come across a fuel station or a petrol station as they call it but just to um, I guess show how in the middle of nowhere we are here is the radio dial seeking trying to find a radio station Yes, there it is, a full revolution around the radio dial with nary a sound heard, showing just how remote we are. And uh, it's close, it's going to be close. So uh, we'll keep you updated and we'll see how it works out. So we're probably about 12K out of Pemberton, somewhere in that neighborhood. And um, we're, we're taking every possible fuel saving, I guess, tip out there which means that we have um, turned off the air conditioning the windows are rolled up to reduce drag uh, so really what that means is it is hotter than hell in here right now it is extraordinarily hot but whatever aside from some cheese and chocolate we'll be okay um, now the other thing that we're doing is we're trying to minimize um, our speed so as to get the most per liter of, uh, of fuel and, um, and also, we're neutral dropping it every, every hill. So, 
you know, just go on neutral, which I think saves fuel. Um, it could be, you know, I get home and I read on the internet that that's like the worst possible thing to do. But in the meantime, I think it saves fuel. Now everybody, um, I think we'll be fine because we're getting closer to Pemberton, so should we run out of fuel? We, we passed actually a bus full of hippies. They said like tarot readings on the side of the bus. It was, you know, it looked like the Partridge family, except it was just a blue and white bus. So I think that um, at the very least, they will pick us up and help us. Um, now God knows what they'll do to us or what kind of drugs they'll make us take. But you know, that's all part of the, I guess, deal of driving the Australian Outback. So um, we have been driving through an incredibly gorgeous forest of, uh, of carry trees. And uh, I'll show you a little bit of that right now. <laughs> there it is, Pemberton, two miles, and we're rolling downhill right now. I don't want to say anything. I don't want to, uh, two, I mean, two kilometers, what am I talking about? I don't want to say anything just yet because, I mean, we've still got two kilometers to go, but we just might make it. We just might make it. All, all the positive thoughts may have paid off. We're cruising right now. This is Come on, baby. We're almost there. We're almost there. It is really, really hot in here, by the way. And yeah, that's it. Oh, there's a sign. Oh, you douchebag. Is this is this like the town without gas stations? <laughs> Just a log. They have video rental stores, but no gas stations. This is awesome. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Is it open? Happy day. Closed. Uh, you're not serious. Closed down. <laughs> <laughs> there's gotta be, there's gotta be something else. What? BP. BP, all right, there we go. So a little guy, fell off to the big guy. That's what happened. It smells awful in here. <laughs> there it is. There um, it is. There it is. Um, I have to go around the other way. 